Hello and welcome. Uh, on this video I will show you a way to install uh, Navy X without the add-on installer. Uh, on, on my previous video I showed you how, how you can do it uh, with the add-on installer but uh, at the moment there's something wrong with it I believe. Uh, I got a couple of questions about it. Uh, all of these uh, boxes or, or subcategories are empty in the add-on installer. Or, uh, and uh, by the way I, I'm on the Kodai uh, version, the latest alpha, they should be the same with with XBMC Gotham or the previous version. Uh, anyway, uh, why don't we get started? So first of all go to system, uh, go to file manager and let's add a source. We'll give the address HTTP semicolon to forward slashes fusion.xbmchub.com done give it some name i'm going to go to dot fusion like always uh, done okay go to front page uh, system add-ons install from zip file fusion and with the add-on installer you would go in here but let, let's not do that because it's broken so let's go to xpmc repos scroll down a bit until you find uh, repository.xbmc hub and the version this could be different based on the uh, on the version that the uh, Fusion repository is in. Click on that and it takes a moment until it shows, I believe here, TV add-ons, AG add-on repository is enabled. Go to get add-ons and here's the repository that, that we just added. Go in here, click on program add-ons and click on NaviX. And click install. Now, uh, I did try this before, so for me it was instant. Uh, Navy Axis web page or the repository, a uh, Git repository page was super slow when I uh, did, did the research on this, so it can take uh, a few moments. I left the computer running and went away, so I don't know how, how long it, uh, it actually did take. At, uh, I, I came back for maybe 15 minutes later and it was installed so give it some time it, it, it can show zero percent for quite a long time but at least for me it did install it and it is enabled now now we can go back to the front page and go to programs and now we have navy x installed uh, as you can see the change log here is also super slow or the, the uh, browsing here uh, and for some reason it is a bit crooked, as you can see. Uh, I believe that this is caused either by the version 3.82 is a bit messed up or the fact that I'm using Kodai. But it works nevertheless. At least it worked before. Why doesn't... yeah, now here we go. <laughs> I guess mouse click isn't the uh, preferred way. But as you can see it works and you can browse the categories and uh, now it works quite uh, quickly. The installation is the uh, uh, the thing that takes uh, quite a long time. So there we go. That's a way to install NaviX at the moment uh, now that the add-on repository is broken. So uh, that's it for this video. I thank you for watching. Uh, if you did like it and this helped you click on the like button, subscribe to uh, get updates or, or videos uh, later. So thanks for watching guys, see you on the, on the next one.